Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, All Things Taylor. Tonight we have a super special episode for you guys to kick off 2022 with some hard hitting action courtesy of Impact Wrestling. Are you guys ready? Cause I know I am. All right, so without further ado, lights, cameras, and action. <laughs> Tonight we are bringing you the news from the people that know. I am your host, Taylor Hendricks, and this is the Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill Post Show Review. Let's get right down to it. Now, for those of you that may or may not know, Impact Wrestling has been proving each and every week that they are indeed hard to kill. So it comes as no surprise that their signature pay-per-view to kick off the year shares that namesake, Hard to Kill. Hard to Kill is relatively one of the newest events for Impact Wrestling under their banner, but with its popularity as we saw tonight, it is the perfect way for superstars to kick off a brand new year and have a banner of a year. All in the sake of entertainment, fame, fortune, notoriety, and of course, the almighty championship gold. Now, featured on this edition of Hard to Kill, it is the third installment since the pay-per-view began in 2020. And let me tell you, Impact Wrestling laid it all out for its fans and its superstars alike. We had the first ever Knockouts Texas Death Match. We had several world titles on the line. We had the first ever, ever, Knockouts Ultimate X, we had a hardcore war, grudge matches aplenty, and so much more. So without further ado, let's dive right into Impact Wrestling's Hard to Kill 2022. Uh, to kick off the event, we had two pre-show matches full of extremely talented performers. And I, I think some of these wins are going to surprise you. Uh, so before we run down the who won, who didn't, what you may have missed, let's go over the lineup so you have some idea of what to expect going forward. Uh, we had two pre-show matches, one featuring Jake something versus Madman Fulton. And then we had another pre-show match, which was, I want to say a who's who for the Impact X division. We had Ace Austin versus Chris Bay versus Mike Bailey versus Laredo Kid. Then on the main card, we had the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X match. We had Chelsea Green versus, versus Tasha Steeles versus Jordan Grace versus Alicia Edwards versus Lady Frost versus Rosemary. Whoa! <laughs> Can you say a who's who of the Knockouts division this year? Crazy. Crazy. We also had the Impact World title on the line as Moose was set up in a three-way to go against Always Ready, Matt Cardona, and W. Morrissey. We had the ROH World Championship title on the line as champion Jonathan Gresham prepares to put his title on the line against Impact Wrestling and ROH mainstay Chris Saban. We also had the X Division title on the line as champion Trey Miguel lays down the law once and for all against Steve Macklin. Moving right along, we had a hardcore war match as Eddie Edwards, Rich Swan, Willie Mack, Heath Slater, and Rhino went up against the Good Brothers, Doc Gallows, Carl, A Carl Anderson, and then Violent by Design with Eric Young, Diener, and Joe Doring. Uh, we also have a grudge match of epic proportions as the walking weapon himself, Josh Alexander, goes up against Jonah. And then, of course, we have the Knockouts Championship match, which was a Dexus death match. And as you guys know, the old adage goes, everything is bigger in Texas. As champion Mickey James puts her title on the line against the virtuosa Deanna Perrazzo. Will the age of the virtuosa continue? Stick around and find out. We'll be right back. 